The majority of the state in a child care desert, lawmakers are pulling out all the stops to help businesses, families and providers. Our Missouri Capitol Bureau Chief Emily Manley has more tonight. She joins us live from Jefferson City to explain the idea of splitting the cost for child care. Emily. Jasmine and Mike, Missouri's economy is losing out on more than a billion dollars a year due to the lack of child care providers. And it's no longer just an issue for families. Instead, employers are struggling to find workers. The lawmaker behind this idea believes that his proposal could be used as, as, a, re, as a recruiting tool for business owners. Employers would opt into the program and the incentive here is simply that they're providing something that their competitors aren't. A new concept to combat a major problem. Of the $1.35 billion that was lost to the state, $280 million is in lost tax revenue. Democratic Senator Greg Razor says he got the idea from Michigan. TriShare is simply a pilot program that says the child care costs will be paid one third by the families, one third by the business, and one third by the state. Within the first year, Razor says nearly 40 Michigan businesses and 400 families took advantage. On average, the employee decreased their monthly child care cost by $464. It would be overseen by the state's education and economic development departments. Eligibility for families would be based on income. For example, a family of three would qualify if the household income is between fifty and eighty thousand dollars. We know businesses have countless amount of unfilled jobs. We want to do everything we can to remove barriers to entry into the workforce, and child care is indeed a barrier. This proposal comes as the General Assembly is moving forward on another plan to offer incentives to employers, families, and child care providers through tax credits. We talk a lot about educational choice and opportunities. The reality is most families don't even have a choice of where they send their kids because there just aren't enough spots available. Similar legislation died in the Senate last session, but there's a new push this year. Over the course of two years, the state lost 1,100 providers, leaving some counties without a facility. Every single day, I get many, many, many phone calls, um, especially looking for infant and toddler care. And my wait list at all four of my facilities is a mile and a half long. Now, House leadership says that they do plan a debate and possibly even pass the child care tax credit legislation within the upcoming week. Governor Mike Parson has previously said that this is a priority the General Assembly needs to accomplish this session. Reporting live tonight from Missouri State Capitol Bureau in Jefferson City, I'm Emily Manley, Fox 2 News.